Welcome back guys, Jvids here. Ah, today's video we are back on Need for Speed Heat and we're going to do some testing. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and take out every single motor for the MX-5 and just run them through some basic tests, uh, some a short burst down the strip and uh, maybe just a small little corner somewhere through a speed trap to kind of gauge on how fast we're coming out of the corner or if we're losing speed out of the corner. So we're going to start off with the very first engine, it's the cheapest one, it's a 1.8 liter i4 with 500 horsepower, and let's see what we're going to get off the drag strip here, it's about a quarter mile I would say that is, 206 kilometers, that's not too bad, it's a very small motor guys, this is uh, the first engine you can get, and it's very, uh, very, very weak with only 500 horsepower, and it could barely even made that jump with 157 kilometers. Now let's see what we're going to get on the corner here. Again, this is the smallest motor that we can buy. I kind of like making these comparisons. It definitely helps people out if you don't want to waste any money and you want to get a decent engine. These kind of videos can definitely help you out. Um, we're going to be the 2.4 liter i6 with 653 horsepower. and We're going to get 202 kilometers per hour off of that run. That is actually quite faster than the first run. Uh, I wasn't expecting the first run to be too anything major though. It's always the smallest engine. Uh, and 165 kilometers for the second run. That's not too bad for a 2.4 i6. Again, it's only 600 horsepower, but it's a very small car. Um, and I really do actually like this car. It handles quite well. 204 kilometers for the corner there. Now we're on to the rotary. Uh, 1.3 Wankel, 702 horsepower. This engine is actually quite fast for the being how small of a motor it is. Um, it's 229 kilometers for that run. That's actually pretty good for uh, compared. It's faster than all all two of those first motors. 169 off the short burst. That's got quite well too. I would definitely like this motor if I was using it for a drift build. I think this would be my first choice on that um, on that torn of build, but for a race build I probably wouldn't use this motor. Uh, it is a very strong motor though, I will give it that for being the size of only a 1.3. Now this is a 3.0 V6, it's actually uh, pretty powerful, it's 778 horsepower, and we're going to get 235 kilometers off the first drag. That's not too bad, it's a lot faster than all those motors so far. And let's see what we're going to get off the short burst. 174, which is again faster than all three motors prior to this one. Let's see what we're going to get on the corner of this. Now I do notice some motors, once you take a corner, they don't want to propel you through it so much. And that one propelled me very nicely at 217 kilometers per hour. I actually forgot about our little drag race here with a 2.8 flat 6, 742 horsepower. Absolutely destroys the i the i8 BMW. Not even a chance. I don't know if he's using NOS back there, but I do not use NOS during drag racing or any of my testing. And we are just flying with this 2.8 liter flat 6, very strong motor. Just chopped the living crap out of that i8. And let's just get it back on over to our little testing area and compare this engine to our last. Um, our last run on here was 235 kilometers. And let's see what we're going to get with the 2.8 flat 6 with uh, 742 horsepower. It's been raining the entire time of my video. Uh, I don't know how it can rain that long, but hey, that's need for speed for you. And we're going to have 231, which is just 4 kilometers smaller or short, or short of the 3.0 V6. What are we going to go to the second run? Oh, 170 kilometers, which is just 4 kilometers shorter than the 3.0 V6. But the flat 6, guys, I really do like that engine, and it feels very strong. Uh, definitely propels you through the corners very nicely, such as right there. Doesn't kick you out too much, and 224 kilometers, which is a very nice corner for that. Not bad at all. 
Now let's move on to the 3.0 i6, and I put a supercharger on this, which is a root supercharger, I believe, and 239. Very fast run there, not bad. Let's see what we're going to get on the second run here. Feels very fast, 274, I mean, wow, sorry, 174 kilometers per hour there for the first short burst. And let's see what we're going to get on the corner here. It feels very nicely. I like this motor. Probably going to be my top three for sure. I like the superchargers. Just something about the superchargers, guys. I don't know. Ooh, 3.0 flat 6. 779 horsepower. And holy hell, look at that. 241. That's the fastest drag strip we run so far with this car. And for the short burst, only 178, which is, again, the fastest out of all of them. And this motor definitely felt fast, driving it around location to location. Come, we're going to get on this corner, very strong corner there. And we're going to have 221, which is not the fastest out of all of them. But for my top three guys, I'm going to be picking... I think I'm going to go with the 3.0 i6 supercharger mainly because that's personal choice and I love the supercharger sound. And uh, second would be the uh, 2.8 flat 6 for the, my race build and the 1.3 ankle for the drift build if you're going that route. Uh, very strong car. I love this car. I'm going to be using it a lot. So I hope you guys liked the show. If you did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe and I'll catch you at the next one.